16 year old Royal Palm Beach student who stabbed another student multiple times in the school bathroom will spend the next eight and a half years behind bars. Jose Perez de Corcho was charged as an adult. He could face up to could have rather faced life in prison. Instead, his punishment was much lighter than the family had hoped. News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman now at the Palm Beach County Courthouse with more details. Alyssa. Well, the victim's mom told the judge she felt betrayed, knowing the student who attacked her son used to be his close friend. That close friend will now spend the next eight and a half years behind bars. It's a little more lenient than what I was expecting. Julia Hernandez left the courtroom Monday, not satisfied with the punishment the judge handed down to 16-year-old Jose Perez de Corcho. He's the Royal Palm Beach High School student who stabbed 16-year-old Juan Hernandez in the school bathroom nearly a year ago. The whole thing over a girl. And every time I would start to feel really, really bad about it, I remember the fact that my son was lying on the floor in a puddle of his own blood, begging, begging him to stop. The JROTC teenager recalled those terrifying moments that changed his life forever. I realized that he had a knife in his hand. I fell back up against the stall. I lost my footing and I fell to the ground. I'm sorry, Juan. Hernandez broke down, hearing his former friend apologize for the attack, saying that he had been battling depression. Ultimately, the judge sentenced DeCorcho to eight and a half years behind bars for his crimes, a fraction of what the Hernandez family had hoped for. But for the DeCorcho's defense, this was a fair ruling. It's a, a really a very, very tough case, very unfortunate for both families, and the judge's decision was very fair. Now, Jose Perez de Corcho had several family members also in the courtroom today as well. He will get credit for the one year he's already served behind bars. Reporting live from the Palm Beach County Courthouse tonight, Alyssa Hyman, WPTV News Channel 5.